Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. Uh, pretty excited to show you some new stuff we've been working on. This is uh, prototype boxes for our new automated control system or ACS. Uh, I've been working on this uh, new design for about two years now and I just got the boxes back uh, from my supplier and uh, we're going to do set up here to do some bench testing. Thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of walk through what we've got uh, on the automation control system. So if you've looked at some of my videos and, and talked to me in the past, you see that we uh, actually uh, tried to do an automated control system a couple of years ago. I had a, had a, a contractor uh, develop it for us, but uh, it was a total disaster. And uh, I won't get into a lot of details, but uh, it was a very expensive lesson. And we learned uh, what you really can't do. The previous version had automated uh, valves and the, the, it wasn't very ruggedized, the displays weren't mounted correctly, um, so it really wasn't a successful uh, product. Uh, but we learned a lot from that and we decided that we had to go back to the drawing board and start from scratch. So that's really what we came up with this. I think this is going to be a much, much better design and it's going to work really well. First off is it's a three module system. So the first module is a uh, uh, for the gasifier, it controls the uh, gasifier module, the startup, flare, and such. Second one is a display, a remote display. It's a wi uh, wireless, so it's a 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, uh, wireless radio. And then we've got the uh, engine module that's going to have the control and the uh, uh, electronic carburetor in it. So I'll kind of go through, you know, what we've got. I've just basically got this wired up and set up to do some uh, bench testing, but I kind of wanted to walk through uh, what the concept and the logic was for our system and kind of show you some of the components that we've got here. Um, so the first is, like I said, it's a modular system. We wanted to have a separate module for the gasifier and for the engine and then have a remote display. So we could have the gas fire running outside. We could have a remote display in the shop that's going to show us the status uh, of that, uh, of the gas fire in the engine. And it's going to give us uh, runtime hours and logs and such like that. Uh, so you can, uh, and they don't all have to be used together. You could use just the gas fire module by itself or just the engine module by itself. Uh, of course, you can't use the remote unless you've got one of the other two modules to receive data from. Um, but basically this is a very generic system. It'll work with our V3 gas fire, but it'll work with any gas fire. So if you've got a different gas fire you're working on or have, uh, and you want to add some level of automation to it, this will work fine for you. It is a 12 volt system, so you got to make sure that whatever components you're using are 12 volt. Um, but I'll kind of walk through real quick what we've got. So first off is we have, you know, it's going to control the blower. This is the main blower, and this is the original blower that's from uh, China, the Sohan blower. We still use that today. They're hard to get. You have to import them, but we try to keep enough in stock for our kits and builds and to sell them off the shelf to people. Uh, so it, we'll control that. Uh, next is it's going to have an offer automatic start. It's going to have a standard glow plug. You can see here I've got one. I've got one set up. It's actually running. You see the glow plug glowing and then I've got the temperature sensors kind of monitoring the temperature around it. So this is a standard glow plug. The V3 gas fire, we have a thermocouple uh, 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 in the reduction tube for temperature. Uh, you can add the glow plug through one of the auxiliary ports um, for this configuration. Then we have the uh, uh, right angle motor. This is a 50 amp 12 volt motor uh, that's used for the grate. Uh, this is from Maker Motors. And you can see it's on right now and it's coming on uh, every five seconds I've got it set to. Then we have the automatic flare start. So here you'll kind of see we've got this uh, uh, igniter here that will basically ignite the flare. And then we got a temperature sensor to detect when the flare is lit. Um, then we have, this is a uh, uh, another motor to do... Uh, uh, if you wanted to have additional vibration to, you know, maybe to the hopper or something like that to prevent bridging in your fuel. You can see here that motor's kicking on and off every, stays on for five seconds and uh, goes off for every 30. So what we've got here, if I look at the, uh, look at the first module now, first off I want to say that all these switches, I know it looks complicated with the L, uh, LCD and uh, 
switches. The final box isn't going to have all these switches on it. This is just for our prototype where we can go through and test it. All these controls are going to be on the inside of the box in a little LCD panel. Um, basically on the outside of the box, all you're going to really see is some on-off switches uh, and then a couple of the status lights and temperature readings of what's going on. So the, the final box won't look nearly as complicated as this. Once you go through and do the settings, uh, it'll retain the settings. So just one switch to power down, one switch when you turn it back on, it'll resume uh, all the settings that you got. So what I've got set up here is the first section here I've got is set up for the hearth. So this is where the glow plug is going to be. And then I can set it and I can set how long do I want to stay the glow plug to stay on? How long do I want the glow plug to stay off? So if I wanted to go through and cycle and say, okay, right now it's set to come on for 15 seconds, stay off for 20 seconds. And it'll keep doing the cycle until the temperature probe detects that the uh, charcoal has ignited and the hearth is lit. And then there'll be a status light like here. It says, okay, the hearth is lit. And that also shows up on the remote display. Gas fire, hearth is lit. Second switch is for the blower. Um, I can turn the blower on. I've got a little power uh, volume speed control on the side, so you can hear the blower going, and I can control the speed of that blower as well. Now the blower, when the blower's on and the, the uh, hearth is lit, then the uh, igniter on the flare is going to go every five seconds until it detects that the flare gas is lit. Again, it's going to be a cycle. It'll continue that cycle. Uh, as long as the blower is turned on. Uh, so here, so the third set is I've got it set here. This is for the grate uh, motor. So right now, when we in our V3 kits, we put in a pre-programmed relay that's set for turn on every five seconds, uh, or turn on for five seconds every three minutes, and you can't really change it. That's just this you can. So here I've got it set to run for five seconds, turn off for. Th uh, 30 seconds. You can set that to whatever you want. If I want it to come on for 30 seconds every three minutes, I can just set that. And then the last one is a, uh, a like this vibrator motor I've got. A, basically, it's going to be an auxiliary. It's an auxiliary switch. So I could plug in a motor. I could plug in an extra blower. Um, I could plug in some other accessory on it. And then again, I control the, can control the frequency. How long do I want it to stay on? And what's the interval? How long do I want it to stay off? And then you can see down here from these status lights, it's telling you when the cycles and what mode it is. And then on the top, we're reading the temperatures, the temperature of the hearth, the temperature of the flare. And if the green light's on, it's showing that the hearth is lit and the flare is lit. Now here again, I'm just simulating it. I'm basically taking the temperature off of the glow plug. So as the glow plug comes on and heats up, uh, the temperature probe's picking that up and it's saying, okay, the hearth is on or the flare is on. Um, so we're going to be, uh, this is just set up here where I can start doing some bench testing on it. We're going to go through and put it through its paces and try out all kinds of different configurations. Um, the remote display here, you can see, you know, we've got the same sections. Basically, it's, a, it's just giving you a status. So with the gasifier, you know, is the hearth lighting? Is it lit? Is the glow plug on? What is the temperature? What are your settings? Same thing with the flare. Is the flare on? Is it enabled? Is it, uh, what are your settings? What's the temperature? Uh, the, the great motor, is it enabled? What are your settings? Is it running? Is it not running? And then that last vibrator or auxiliary, whatever you've got plugged into that, is it running? What are your settings on that? And then on the far uh, right is the engine component. Now, I don't have the engine hooked up here. It's just on the bench, but it'll tell us what, you know, low oil. It'll tell you if the engine's running. It'll tell you, you know, if you hit the start, stop. It'll tell you if it's manual or auto mode. So right now for testing here, what I've got is it basically it's on the engine RPM. I don't have it hooked up. It's showing zero. The AFR, the air fuel ratio valve position, is showing you where this this would be. This valve is where we're going to uh, have our air fuel mixture. So as I turn this manual knob here, I've got it set to manual. As I turn this, you can see that knob is turning. So I can just manually get the engine going, get it kind of fine-tuned where I want it to go. Once it's set where I want, I can flip this up and now it's in auto mode and now it will start reading off the O2 sensor that's on the engine and there'll be an AFR uh, a gauge and now that will control based on the uh, uh, O2 reading. It'll automatically adjust the air fuel 
uh, on the fly. So if the RPMs are changing on the engine, basically this is the electronic com carburetor component. Um, so anyway, so this is the this is the main system. We're pr I'm pretty excited that I finally got this thing ready to do some serious testing. There'll probably be a little bit of uh, tweaks in it, but for the most part, it's pretty well done. All the logic's been pretty well proven. Um, we're going to work on the final box design. Like I said, the, the, the box appearance will be much simpler. Won't be all the switches visible, but you will have the flexibility uh, to control it and really customize it to meet your needs. So it's really, it's going to be an, auto, uh, an awesome system. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then again, like I said, it doesn't have to be, it works great with our V3. It doesn't have to be on our gas fire. It can be on your own gasifier. Um, so if you're interested in this, uh, let me know. Once we get through this test testing, we're going to start doing the, the final boxes, and then we're, we're going to be setting up some beta testing on those uh, before we release them for sale. Um, so that's pretty well it. Uh, thanks again. Uh, uh, looking forward to uh, giving you some more information down the road, and if you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a line or give me a call. All right, thanks again.